hello my people now welcome back again to my channel today we're gonna be talking about a story that happened recently in Boyer of a guy who killed his girlfriend and hit her body in her apartment so stay tuned hit the subscribe button as we break down the story um, they said according to the close relatives they said um, Minang Kefu and the late Francina have been in relationship for six months and Francina works with an NGO in Boyer and she was recently promoted at her job and she decided to throw a party um, uh, that's Sunday, uh, October 4th at her apartment. And among other guests was uh, Francina's boyfriend, Minang, who was at the party and having a very good time. And about 3 a.m. on Tuesday morning, Minang, who had Francina's Oh, and that time she was really deceased, he had her phone password, decided to call her father from her phone to announce to her father that his very healthy daughter was partying lively on Sunday, that she had collapsed and blood was oozing from her nose. So her, her father, Payo, took along with him other family members to Francina's house, where they met her lifeless body in an already decomposing state with blood all over her apartment. And... um. He remains, uh, her remains were taken to the hospital where the doctor revealed she died a couple of days earlier. <laughs> Further check equally revealed wounds all over her body but, and her boyfriend Minang was taken to the police station for interrogation and he confessed to the police that he beat her to death in a fight they had after the party of last Sunday. Um, and your Francino is equally from Oku, like her boyfriend Minang, in the Northwest region. Um, and her killer was only 25 years old at the time of her death, which means Minang was just 25 years old and already killing a woman at that young age. Um, I just want to say rest in peace, Francina. This is so sad, I should say, for a young girl like you. With big dreams and aspirations uh, for your life to be cut short by someone you're not even married to, someone you're in a relationship with just for six months, and you end up, you wind up dead. Like this is becoming a train. And people wonder why I'm so much against it on my Facebook page. I talk a lot about the abuse going on between men and women, especially African men. It's becoming a trend where men are beginning to kill their wives. And here it is, even girlfriends. This is getting out of hand. And I believe, and I strongly believe we need a change in the laws, the policies in our country. Because if not, this will fast become something that it will become the normal thing. And we'll be losing our daughters at young ages and our women because of relationships, because of marriage, because of what? It's not worth it. I've been speaking up against it and I'm praying that the government starts to pay attention to this evil and bring to justice every one who chooses to abuse a woman, who chooses to put their hands on her, who still chooses to take away her life with her future, everything away from her. Nobody has the right to take away the life of another. No matter what they do, no matter what they did, nobody has that power, that right to do that. And I really, really pray that Minang, you become the example to other men who are fast following into your footsteps, who are fast making it a train to take away the lives of our young sisters and our young women to be brought to justice and to be set as an example that it is wrong. This is not right at all and should not be encouraged. And I pray for laws that will not encourage this evil to continue. So it's time for a change, guys. It's time for a change. If you're in a relationship, you're not happy, get out. There are tons of women out there. If you're in a marriage, you're not happy, get out. Do not beat your partner to death. Do not kill them because you will be brought to justice one way or the other. So thank you guys for following the story. Do leave your comments in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video. Ciao. Bye for now.